Hello, fellow pilots. So, I have some old PCs lying around, and I thought it would be interesting to see if they could be serviceable to play DCS. So, I measured the FPS obtained with three different setups in various scenarios a second generation i3 CPU with 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a third generation i7 CPU with 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM as well, and a seventh generation i5 CPU with 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Each setup was tested with a GTX 1660 Super, an RTX 2060, and a GTX 1080 Ti. I hope this video will help people with older generation computers decide if they want to get into DCS, and what kind of non-VR 1080p performance they could obtain with a modest upgrade, especially now as the second-hand market is being flooded with still excellent 10 and 20 series GPUs. Alright, let's get started.
So here are my recommendations in the context of DCS. If you have a dual core i3 from first to seventh generation, there is no need to upgrade to something more powerful than a GTX 1660. In my opinion, that would be a waste of resources, as the CPU would not be able to send data fast enough to the faster GPU. Anyway, with a 1060 or 1660, 12 to 16 gigs of RAM, graphics set to medium, and maybe with a frame rate locked at 45 FPS, you should have an enjoyable first experience in DCS should you limit yourself to simple stuff, such as learning the systems and procedures, flagging around sightseeing, or executing simple missions. Now, if you have an old i5 or i7, overclockable or not, a GTX 1080 or an RTX 2060 should be enough to provide a nice experience in medium to high settings. And if you still have a 6th or 7th generation i5 or i7 using the newer DDR4, and if you still work for example on a 970 or 980, then upgrading to a 1080 Ti or RTX 2070 or even 80 will do wonders to enhance your experience with high graphic settings in busy scenarios, especially if you also upgrade your RAM to 24 or 32 gigs. Alright, that's it for today, see you next time.